Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out this silly little bullet heaven called Soda Man, and it's actually um, fantastic. I just did a finished a full run, and I kind of enjoyed it a lot. It looks like I have to finish all of these things before I can go to the next one. Also, it appears to have some type of equipment system that is not in the demo. Hopefully that gets added. Same with this like gun equipment system. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and start the run. I'm going to talk about it because, like I said, I just finished a run. It, it went about 21 minutes. This game gives serious Death Must Die meets um, 20 minutes till dawn vibes. Uh, I need to turn the audio down. It's way loud in the game compared to uh, in the menu. I was also listening to music while I was doing the first run. So... I will say, okay, this is fantastic. It's, this game has a lot of meme stuff because basically it's like Hades or Death Must Die where you have like your gods, except in this game, your god is soda, like literally soda. Um, so in this case, we can take Inferno to change our basic attack. Also, each of these abilities that you're gonna get from soda cans has a um, auto battler type trait to it. So there's synergy bonuses as well, which is cool. Let's just take Inferno. There seems to be quite a lot of quite a lot of choice already in the game, like a surprising amount. It's really, really impressive from what I can tell so far. There are some points that I found that are a little rough around the edges. I'm pretty sure I broke the audio on my first run, um, but sometimes that's a good thing in these games. All right, purple drink. Uh, we're going to take these shots for extra projectiles for sure. Even though it's common, it's just an extra projectile. Like, how can you not? So there's a lot of references in this. There's a lot of jokes. It's it's uh, it doesn't take itself seriously at all, which is totally fine. I mean, the game is called Soda Man. First of all, um, you can check the demo out now on Steam if you want. This is a white soda. Oh, we get our get our Patriot milk. Now nah, we're going to get dawn drinker attacks get two piercing uh so the the white soda can is like neutral it's like a unbranded i guess so it just gives passive bonuses kind of like fates and death must die i guess is the joke here um attacks and ricochet is absurd wait how does pierce work with ricochet in this game i haven't i, I don't think i had pierce in my first run Looks like it. I, I can't really tell. It looks like it's just doing whatever's optimal. All right, the green drink. I think one thing that's missing is showing off like which of the, the each of the colored drinks or whatever need its own type of brand. I think that would add a little like. um, I don't know, like cool theme to it. Dashing releases a gas cloud that applies toxic. I mean, that's pretty cool, but I'm probably not going to use it. I'd rather just whenever a bullet hits an enemy, another bullet gets shot from a random point on the map. 8% chance. Like, that's going to get ridiculous quickly. Like, the... If you're going to go in with the Soda Man thing, and, like, the sodas are the gods, you need to go, like, really silly with it, I think. And, like, have them all have names. Like, oh, my favorite soda is... Brondo or whatever from Idiocracy, that type of that type of thing. Um, Verglass. Whenever your attacks hit an enemy, shards of ice explode through its back, dealing damage with a chance of freezing. That seems good. Also, something cool this game already has. Uh, if you press F, you can see what the status effect does, like if it's a keyword. Increases everything related to RNG. I'm just going to take the luck for now. We'll see how that goes. So, yeah, I had a really overpowered first run. I only got hit once, which is a shame because that means I failed the quest. But, um, you know, these things happen. So this game does have manual fire and aim that you can do if you want, but I just have it on auto because it's uh, I'm treating it more that way. Uh, crits can cause freeze. That's cool. 
Um, this would replace my attack. I like that this is a thing. Also, this looks like a glitch because uh, I had this before, but the line was red, it was solid red. I'm not sure. My my current issues with the game, not really issues, but like my current thoughts are that I think this game needs something like Nordic Ashes or Death Must Die has with like shrines in between these waves. All right, let's take first blood. Um, it needs something during the runs to like run to, right? Cause just walking around shooting things is cool, but I think having points of interest would be nice. And also there doesn't seem to be mini bosses. I think mini bosses, again, to reference DMD would be the way to go. Um, we could take more D shots. I can't imagine not taking this. This one's pretty good. Your movement speed and fire rate increases after you dash for two seconds. Like, this is a good thing, but I'd rather just have more bullets. So I don't have to dash as much if I want to, because the other one makes me want to dash constantly. I also realized that I have the wrong gun equipped. Um... In my first run, I had an assault rifle, and I guess this time I started with a shotgun. Whatever, it's fine. Um, let's take Inferno here. Just more damage is good. Yeah, I, it's crazy that it took me three minutes to realize that I was using a completely different gun, but here we are. But yeah, I think the music's good. I think the choices of ability upgrades and stuff you can get is really good like you'll see as we go it's gonna get it's gonna get out of hand all right first blood more damage enemies that haven't been dealt damage before it seems really good on a shotgun red thirst killing an enemy grants you extra base damage and base health regen for a limited amount of time and uh get blood shield during reload i just want i just want more first strike damage all right, we got a magnet dashing cause a blast. I actually don't like this. I tried it. It's fine. Blaze effects can crit is good. I will say what something's weird uh, that I found is that there are points in the game or there are like random vending machines that you could pick up stuff from. Uh, whenever you dash smite nearby enemies. Damage zero. What does smite do? I can't see what smite does. That's weird. Is smite not all the way added? Um, huh. You can see the smite effect happening. But it doesn't seem to be doing it. Maybe smite is bugged. Yeah, I think there's I think there's a few things in here that just aren't working properly because I noticed on my first run I picked up an ability that said it deal zero damage as well, even though it sounded like really good. Let's see, whenever you reload smite. Okay, but whenever I reload smite nearby enemies, it does 120 damage. Maybe that ability is broken? Let's try this. Attacking foes for a certain amount and you call lightning this this thing was absurd in my first run we started spamming chain lightning or not chain lightning i guess it's really like thunder or whatever but either way it's seemingly very good especially once you start hitting for enormous amounts of damage we need more ammo i guess i also want to see if smite's doing damage from that one ability i definitely feel weaker than the run i had just played before but that might be a shotgun versus assault rifle thing it may also be a me talking versus me just kind of like jamming out sort of thing all lightning mic strike twice yeah that one's pretty good but we could also get these shots three Uh, or we could get D-Shots Legendary. 
Okay. Full on, full on 20 minutes to dawn feeling right now with the, with the back shots. I think. Yeah, I don't, I, this, this has a lot going for it. Like I play a lot of these types of games and this one really impressed me. <laughs> the, the, the auto targeter stuck there because I guess enemies haven't respawned yet. That's funny. It's a little, there's a little, little buggy few things like i said i i emailed the devs because they they reached out to me about this game i had no idea i like i i was scrolling through the steam next fest for like games to try out this never even showed up on the demo lists in this genre of like bullet heavens and whatnot um so i had no idea devs reached out to me i was like okay i'll give it a shot like i, I normally try to try as many of these as i can sometimes there's hidden gems and this is one of the better ones i've played um, this might actually be my favorite one that I've played of this demo. Your attack shoots more projectile. Hmm. Hmm. Normally, well, with the assault rifle, that was insane. I'm going to reroll instead. Your attacks can increase critical hit chance against bleeding enemies. Um, I don't know how much crit we have. I'm going to reroll again. Enemies you kill with smite might increase your maximum health. Your armor increases. I'm going to take this thing because it has luck tagged and sweet. If you want exactly three sodas with a sweet tag, your maximum health increases. Uh, empowers all healing effects and increases luck. Okay. Oh, I guess maybe the game does have like mini bosses. Uh... When I, <laughs> on my other run, this guy, I didn't even see this guy. He just died. But I think it's because I had some lightning stuff going on that was really, really powerful. And I just don't have that going on this time. I totally dodged in that projectile, didn't I? We died. Rough life. Okay. I would like to retry, but I would also like to... Um, switch weapons so last time i was here this was broken this whole screen because like this says 20 dollars to buy right this uh this thing but like you can't you can't buy it or do anything with it so there is there's something going on with this this whole setup and i I emailed the dev about it to try and figure it out. We're gonna go with this. Because, like, you can't. I'm mashing here to try and unlock, and I can't. And the reason I did that is because I want to get Zangetsu here. Because, you know, um, Bleach. But it's fine. So we're gonna try the light SMG there. Go back to this. Looks like there's three bosses in this area. Uh, I don't know if everyone's going to be the same. Don't forget to drink soda. Yep. Yep. This game is out to poison everyone. All right. Let's see if we can win this time. This crystal do. But healing is that money. I'm not exactly sure. All right. So now we're like the opposite of what we had. Plus this gun fires on does extra stuff on. Uh, does it show? Um, no, you can see all your traits over here, but it does not appear to show. I'm pretty sure it said it does extra damage on Ricochet. So we're going to focus on that. Healing an enemy into extra base damage and health regen for a short time. It's also sweet. Knock, knock. I don't really want any of those. This has a million tags. Every seventh attack causes snowballs to fall around the enemy hit. Yep, that's the one. That's the one. Okay, we're... <laughs> we're in it now. Oh, Ice and Lightning? No, this is the wrong one. I don't... This god, whatever this soda god here, is kind of trash, from what I can tell. Um, 
Your attacks knock enemies back and deal more damage and apply bleeding. Okay. I can be persuaded to take that. And they're already dropping soda cans. Let's get uh, Cobra Spit. You spit out toxic ball to the nearest enemy, which explodes every five seconds. It's okay. It has, it has three tags though, and that seems really good. Okay, it also looks very cool. Can I? Why is escape banish here? That feels like I'm gonna exit this window. I don't know. I'm gonna. What if I banish all three? Okay, we lose the level, just like Death Must Die. That's fine. I don't. I don't think that uh, that soda tech tree or whatever is even like working fully functionally. Maybe I'm wrong and I'm not understanding it, but currently, currently I would say it has been underwhelming. Everything else has been much better. Um, this reduces the cooldown on Toxic Ball. And dying enemies might melt down into acid pools and apply Toxic. That increases with each Toxic stack. I'm going to take Cobra Spit up first, I think. You get like a Ice Frost build? Maybe? One thing I seem to have noticed too, I think of the first run, is that there's no limit to the number of different types of soda you can drink. So you run into the situation where you get some serious bloat. Which is kind of weird, but also it lets you be extremely overpowered if things go well. Legendary Zestex. If there are 30 or more toxic stacks applied on enemies, you gain global damage. Oh, it's just 25% global damage basically because we're always gonna have poison on someone i mean not always but realistically as we go on we're gonna get more poison effects and also for the final boss it'll help the final boss did have mechanics so that seems good another legend oh it's the same one level up Your attacks deal more damage and apply toxic. Part of me wants to just take this, the rack juice. But we can also just upgrade toxic spit, cobra spit. Let's just take, you know what? Let's just take zest axe. Let's just upgrade that. 30% damage. Seems pretty good. I mean, realistically, right? This is just death must die with guns. I mean, if it's going to have mods, for your weapon and for your character, you're basically going to have talents and equipment, in theory. Enemies you touch while you dash take damage. Yeti pop. No, we're going to take Sir Ice a lot <laughs> for her more snowballing damage. Whenever you deal a critical hit, you hurl a fireball towards enemies. All right, this is what I think won me the first game, and we're going to take it now because it's really good. Now, I did have to get crit for that to work, mind you. It doesn't really do anything baseline. But once it gets going... I don't even know what our crit chance is. If we even have one. Maybe also doing a hitless run isn't the best the best first quest to have. Just just throwing that out. <laughs> just just throwing that out there as a my personal opinion, right? Um, you spawn tornadoes that move around the map, dealing damage and applying chill. I just don't Yeti pop seems good, but I don't want to be dashing near enemies. I'd rather I would rather spawn tornadoes that are doing tornado things. All right, give me some crit here. I will take one ricochet. That is also acceptable. In fact, you could argue it's preferable.
So this game does hit that hit that feeling of leveling up quite a bit to make your own build fairly early on. It is one of the reasons I say I feel like it needs some type of points of interest on the map though because you get to a point where it doesn't matter. Your attacks can increase critical hit chance against bleeding enemies. That is that is something we're here for. Now, if we're killing enemies super fast like this, it doesn't really matter because they're not going to be bleeding long enough to get crit, but... At some point, it will be better. Also, I think the, the automatic rifle that you start with might have had baseline crit chance, which made it better. Well, we're, we're going to take, wait, what's purple pain? Summon? Nah, we'll rotate chain lightning. Call lightning, whatever. It's an elemental boy over here. This feels very, very 20 minutes till dawn. Honestly, I like I'm I I do enjoy it. I think I don't know what I think. <laughs> I think my I think my brain's not working correctly. Uh, dying enemies spread bullets around them. Dying enemies do toxic dashing releases toxic gas. Um GG Bathwater? Okay. I think the item name, the soda names are absolutely ridiculous. That's what I think. My brain is not currently braining at the moment. Sometimes it just be hard like that. But it's fine. We're still going to win. Manual aiming might help some of these situations too. I dashed over the cola. Dashing releases. Dying enemies might spread bullets around them. Mm, okay. Let's get the Zaza's juice. <laughs> I wonder how luck interacts with this stuff, too. Dashing causes a delayed explosion. This was like whatever. Um, but I guess we could take it. Wait, which which traits actually give crit? Fire just gives fire bonus. None of these give crit. Okay. Well, that's that's a wee bit disappointing, I'd say. Just just a wee bit. But again, we, we give some slack to demos. This is one of those balance changes. And again, if you guys like have thoughts on this or things that you think might be better, put that in the comments because like there's a good chance devs will watch this. Like a very good chance. At least at least one of the devs will watch it. I think it's a four person team is what the uh, is what I was told. So they could definitely use the help. Your attacks might trigger chain lightning. Your movement speed and fire rate increases after you dash. I don't know that I want these, although this one's probably good. Just the movement speed and attack rate after dodging or dashing. It should help us enough. I, we already failed the challenge, but whatever. It, it is what it is, right? Blaze effects can deal crit. Wait. Whenever you deal a critical hit, you hurl a fireball towards an enemy. Okay. Does this count blaze effects? If it counts blaze effects, then that could go absolutely insane. 
If it doesn't, it's probably not very good. But I guess we will find out. I've, I've definitely noticed I have not thrown any fireballs, though. Oh, there's... I think we threw one just now. Yeah, we're throwing a couple. Of course, my first run that I wasn't recording was by far the best. That would figure. I think it also helped that I had, like, extra ricochets. When blazed enemies die, they keep burning. When you reload, you belch fire from your mouth and applying blazed enemies caught in it. I'm curious. I need some type of healing. Whenever your attacks hit an enemy, yeah, we'll, we'll take the shards out the back attack. Blaze enemies might explode. See, that has a 0% chance. I don't know how that works, but it does give us, like, all the stats. Is there a way to see? There's an elemental bonus. Um, sodas. Where is it? Uh, still says zero. Special rarity. You are my specials. Um, no. Doesn't really tell. Also, the fire breath thing is a little, little short, unfortunately. Huh. How odd. Lightning? Armor increases. Oh no, this isn't lightning. Um. Whenever you take damage, you fire a gamma ray that bounces damage between enemies until all of its damage is drained. All right, let's take it. Sure. We're getting hit a little bit, so I'm curious if that will just, like, one-shot a bunch of guys. Did it... Did it do its thing? I, I couldn't really tell there. There are a lot of effects going on. For sure. We need to find heals. Yeah, I'd say the map is still bare in a way I don't like. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. All right, I'm going to give it one more attempt. Although, we're going to go back and change weapons. Two. Um... The baseline weapon. We can buy this here. No, I can't buy it in this menu either. I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, we are on the assault rifle. Let's try this one last time. See how far we get. Difficulty one. Probably need a little bit more synergy in our stuff. Rather than just taking whatever I feel like. But this gun with Ricochet seems like it goes a little bit harder. Um, First Blood, I think, is pretty good. Especially when you crit. <laughs> Especially when you crit for 200. This gun must have, like, some base crit, right? Critical chance, zero. Critical chance, 15. Oh, I didn't... I, I totally missed this before. I guess the other gun probably didn't have a crit chance baseline which is why the fireball thing wasn't working uh 15% fire rate seems pretty good seems like a good buff he's got armor huh Interesting.
Probably need to level here. I'm probably probably need to get some experience. What is this one? Oh, freeze. I think I'm. Let's just take glacier. Just slow. Maybe I don't. I don't really know what the best option is there. We really just want ricochet, honestly. Grab the soda can. Whenever you deal crit, hurl a fireball. Yep, that's that's what I want. You do have iframes to go through enemies, and we just want to get our crit up as high as possible now. And then like faster reload, more magazine ammo and whatnot. Obviously, that stuff is all gonna help. Pre seventh attack. Yeah. We know we know that this ability is pretty decent. I do wonder if this really needs to be one of those games where you pick up XP off the ground and not just get it from killing enemies, though. Like, is that a necessary feature for this game? Does it add something to it? Zaza juice. Um, no, it definitely take a warp bubble. Fires extra bullets. Extra bullets means extra crits. Extra crits means fire extra fireballs. It's the it's the long plan. I did also have a summon on my first run. It was like at 12 minutes or something, but it had it was like a cloud of lightning that was doing quite a bit of work, I think. I don't know. I guess the first run was a fluke, maybe. Game's harder than I thought. I finished and I was like, oh, oh, is this too easy? Aside from the getting hit once, then it's like, oh, well, maybe it's not too easy. Maybe I just got lucky. Um, on cooldown, you gain a shield that prevents damage. Yeah, I'll take that. For the sake of trying to go hitless here. There are two drinks on the ground. Maybe there is a limit to like which which drinks you get. You know, maybe you can't just get as many as you want of different types. He says as this shows up. Your attacks my trigger chain lightning. Okay. Oh no. Legendary dash cooldown decreases by 50%. That's pretty good. Let's take the legendary. <laughs> Critical attacks cause enemies to freeze. Sure. Sure. I mean, we are going full into crit right now, right? I would like to reroll. I would like to reroll into a different god. What about 12 armor though? Can we see how much damage reduction 12 armor is? I'm assuming we can't. No idea if it's percent based or flat. It's probably percent based, but. We will never know. Well, I mean, I guess we'll eventually know when this game comes out, because I'll probably play it most likely, I'm like almost 100 percent. But oh, attacks. Oh, no. Victory Cola is really good, but I got to take Mito Soda. Three bullets. We just <laughs> we just triple our damage. All right, we would have gotten hit just then.
Maybe, maybe extra bullets was the secret sauce that I was missing from before. That would make sense. I need a magnet though. Shield enemies take more damage, spawn tornadoes. I mean, take, take Sir Ice a lot here. Stacking that one up seems like a smart idea. We know it's going to proc often. And it's going to do a solid amount of damage. So how about them NBA Finals, huh? I guess the Mavs are out of it. Down 3-0. It, it was a weird third game for sure. You burst down an electrical surge every time you dash and electrocute affected enemies. Huh. When you take an attack, you also fire a bullet back. Oh no, no, this is the D shots thing. Oh, we're definitely taking that. I misread it as something different. Uh, we will take automatic orange because that's our fireball spamming thing on crit. We are looking to improve it as we go. Attacks deal more damage and chill. I think we just want attacks deal more damage. Like our, our, our most damaging thing is going to be our basic attack at the end of the day. That is the one thing about these uh, gun themed bullet heavens is that whatever you know your gun is it's gonna end up being your primary damage typically typically there's some exceptions i guess but more often than not oh that boy he coming we got hit twice unfortunate maybe i should auto aim this i don't remember the key to auto aim There was a key to switch targets. Okay, here we go. I just had to mess around with the keyboard stuff. Um, DTL is really good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna take Yeti Pop here and dash out. All right, now I am controlling the gun. I'm still letting it auto fire, but I am aiming. I've entered try hard mode. Go this other way, please. Nice. Mm, no, I, I'd reroll. Reload time decreases by 35% or 35x. I don't. I don't know the way exactly that's gonna math, but I imagine it's good for us. It's, it's very noticeable immediately. In fact, I would say it's a uh, run winning upgrade, potentially. Potentially. These things kind of suck. I think part of the problem is they blend in a little bit with the background for me. So I really don't see them until they're already on top of me. X special and legendary. 
Execute chilled enemies with health equal to or lower than 10% and apply of chill to st a stack of chill to nearby enemies. Ooh. Whenever your attacks hit an enemy, shards explode. This gives it buffs joint and sharp. Let's take this one. I didn't even look at the third one. That was probably dumb. I think I skipped that earlier. Although I do think legendary isn't necessarily legendary in the sense of like how I was thinking with Death Must Die. I think legendary is just another rarity tier. Whereas special is like an actual just like special like it doesn't have rarity tiers. At least that's what I am inferring from the what hour ish I have played of the game so far. Okay, well, this feels like it has to be Quicksilver as much as I want these other two. And White Wolf is a great Witcher reference, but like. Reload speed down seems way too important. Just way, way too important to not take. I like that it really matters what you take, though, too. If you just took if you just took like whatever sounded cool and then one, that would be kind of lame. Dying enemies might spread bullets around them. It is luck and joint. Those are two things that we already have. Get the Zaza juice going on. Get some more bullet spread. All right, I'm back and I have no idea what I was talking about. This is going to be the most scuffed YouTube video ever, but uh, my cat just threw up like a bunch of times. He ate so much food. I don't know why, but <laughs> but I had to go clean it up. So it's it's what it is. Anyways, let's win this run, huh? Uh, here come the uh, the halberd mechs. I don't know what else to call them. That's what they look like. I think I was going to talk about because I have reflecting bullets and bullets spawning off of enemies and ice spikes going shooting out the back of enemies. Can't I just have like spikes coming from every direction? Oh, we got we got Halberdo there. Um, this gives them more damage, more freeze chance. We're not critting enough, and this is just 0.2 seconds of crease. Wait, attacking enemies might freeze. 20% chance, plus it gives luck and tenacity. Okay, sure. Just a 20% chance to freeze enemies. That seems really good. I think we're still gonna die. Oh, we found a we found a vending machine. Uh, I want this. Thank you. Five percent crit chance. Yes, please. Hundred percent. That's what I wanted. Wait, can I use it again? Oh no, that's this down here. I was like, wait a second. Is it broken? I don't know what's happening. Um. Your attacks, chain lightning, your movement speed and fire rate, no. Call lightning might strike twice, sure. Sure, why not? We need a health drop. Actually, that's not true. What we need is the soda that gives us lifesteal. Which would be way better than health drop. I also think I can turn on auto fire now, like auto targeting. Your attacks deal more damage, have a chance to play blaze. That's fine. Where we reload, you belch fire, dashing cause. Nah, we're gonna reroll. Your attack damage increased when you're missing health. During your duration of your reload, you get a damage mitigating blood shield that explodes. 
Whenever you reload, you shoot out kunai that deal damage and apply bleed damage in a circular pattern around you. Let's try that. It also has a bunch of thingies that go with it. Whenever you reload, you smite enemies. Sure. Whenever you take damage, you irritate, irradiate enemies. It doesn't say what that does. Uh, I'm going to reroll out of that one. Each call of lightning might reload a bullet in your magazine. This Jojo Cola. Um. Okay. Is that the infinite ammo hack? You summon e EWGF. I don't get the reference, but you summon a thundercloud. This is what I had in my first run. It's quite good. Max HP up. Okay. I think I need the health. Yeah, that was big. Now I feel like we win. That was just a series of really powerful upgrades that we didn't have before. After hitting foes, it changed. So our call lightning does 20 to more. Are we take vice T at legendary 50% fire bonus and 22% move speed bonus after we dash stack every it lasts for two seconds. And our dash recharge is literally two seconds because we have the dash uh, speed buff. Bzzzt. Your attacks might em emit chain lightning. Blue purple one. That seems like a mistake. Whenever your attack hits an enemy, as many bullets as your base piercing explode through its back. What if we just upgrade Vice T? Just keep dashing around or insane fire rate yeah we we're strong now these shots yeah extra extra bullet out the back's probably good all right made it to 12 minutes One thing this game also doesn't have that it desperately needs is a damage meter at the end of a run. Or, you know, you could be during the run. I don't know how you want to calculate it, what's easier, but like... Having the damage meter is so satisfying in Death Must Die that like... I, I want it in every game basically, so we know what's what's good and what's not. It, I also feel like that's an easy way for the devs to, like, more quickly balance the game. I kind of see this one as, like, the, the bullet heaven with the most potential out of, you know, the stuff I've been playing recently. Um... Big Eclipse. More damage out of our percent missing health is fine. More first blood is also probably pretty good. Also, when you start mixing... Well, I think the more damage based on percent missing health is actually flat. I was going to say mixing percent plus flat is generally a good idea for damage scaling, but I don't think that's exactly how that works. as our cloud casually, casually flies over and destroys everything. When you deal a critical hit, hurl fireball. That's great, I just wish I had more. Uh, I'll take Helios at legendary. It's, um, you know, it's that ability <laughs> that everyone's seen before. Call lightning might strike twice. Yeah. We'll take Mjolnir. Tasty, tasty Mjolnir. Is that a... Is that another vending machine? Potentially more crit? Uh, this one? What, this? Tax get Ricochet, ooh. 
Ooh, I think I want that over fire rate. Yeah. Definitely. Fire rate's nice, but better. Vice T legendary up to level three. I think we get call lightning up. Having call lightning strike twice is really good. Although I guess I should upgrade call lightning so that it does more damage when it strikes. In theory, right? I do really hope they turn this into something very, very good. Because the core concept is really great. It just needs some more time in the oven. Blaze effects can crit and deal damage. Okay, this is what I talked about before. I don't know if these, these combine. I'm going to take it. Um, you know, it must. Because I'm thinking about my first run. And I'm pretty sure my first run, I was using the blaze attack. So I was probably setting enemies on fire. The fire was critting, and so I was spamming the fireballs. More so than I'm doing right now. Hmm. I think that might mean I might swap our basic attack if we get the opportunity. Also, unfortunately, all the money I'm picking up doesn't work at the moment. Hopefully they change it, because I do want to try the sword. See how that feels. I'm wondering what, what would you guys, what would you guys like to see as far as like points of interest on the map? Because there's like different ways you can do it, right? You could have, you could have Death Must Die stuff. You could have the. Um, take helios you could have it like nordic ashes you could also have some other things that aren't necessarily all positive dying enemies might spread bullets around them they don't ricochet or pierce but um they're bullets uh i'll take more mini stars i guess lots of levels right now apply force there's two specials execute at 15%. Oh, this is... <laughs> this says two different things here. Whoops. Like four stacks of chilled enemy causes a blast around it. Oh, well, we have to try this. Attack gains piercing. You gain a dash. Give me a dash charge. Um, Everything's just exploding. Here I thought we were going to lose again. Uh, I we could take first blood, but I'd rather roll. Oh, 5% more crit chance. Deal. Absolute deal. We have, we're out of rerolls. Hmm. I guess we take Pulsar for for a better. I mean, Pulsar is just Divine Shield, right? Uh oh. Uh oh, we're doing too much. The audio is going. We are breaking the game. I don't know if it's the fireballs or the lightnings. I think it's the fireballs. Killing an enemy grants you extra base and HP regen. That's that's the one we wanted. I think some of these enemies are dying, but they're like hanging around for a second because of frozen.
thankfully uh, the run does end at 21 minutes i was a little worried that it went to 30 when i was doing the first run because i was like yeah it's too long right uh increased chance against bleeding enemies i don't think i do that i guess i do have hattori but like i'm am i re-rolling that much i don't know we'll take it we'll take it but whatever yeah it definitely needs a bit of a bit of polishing bit of a uh, bit of fixing up some things that are currently just like not working but I mean this is giving the power fantasy right oh god here we go five percent more crit more fireballs coming more everything I guess <laughs> this is so dumb. The enemies are just fading away. 30% fire rate. All right. I mean, it's 15% more, but it's enough. It's enough that I can't justify like I can't think of a reason not to take it. Oh, what do we what do we take from this machine over here? Do we go white again or do we take something from the I think we go fire and try to upgrade our fireball, right? Your attacks deal more damage and gain a chance to apply blaze. OK, I want to find out if this works the way I think it does. It's kind of hard to tell because I think enemies are just dying. Um, I want to banish all of these. I didn't banish all of those. In fact, I think I just accidentally took um, a different attack. I definitely did. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. OK, well, that was like a waste of two levels. Interesting. Oh, we found another machine. All right, back to fire. Uh, back, back to Inferno. Sometimes you just accidentally do stuff. Hmm. On my first run, I was like level 58 by this time. I think it's because the beginning went a lot better. Interesting. Probably not strong enough to be goofing around and throwing away levels. Luck increases. I think luck increases. We don't know if luck affects crit or anything like that either, so it's... I, I assume it would be all probability stuff, not including crit, but... Without knowing the rules of the game, it's tough to tell. Also, also, also. Like. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, we just got to hold out one more minute and we get to the boss. I think we kill the boss pretty quickly. Put a seizure warning up on this freaking video though lightning might strike another time that's good but i think increasing the damage of it by 20 is probably more effective dps than the other i imagine Yeah.
So there's this weird transition when the boss shows up. It's gonna like teleport us to a different, like a battleground. It's very odd. I don't love it, but it's gonna happen here in a second. Um, this might deal more damage based on your health. Sure. Well, I thought it was going to teleport us. In the first run, it was 21 minutes. Is it a number of enemies killed? Is it killed 20,000 enemies? Nope. Okay. It just showed up a little later. All right, here's Shokan. He's got attacks. But also, he, he just like doesn't have that much HP. Like, I think if you're surviving the regular enemies, you're probably beating this guy. We win. We are the victor. Now, unfortunately, it just says restart and exit and you can't actually spend your money yet. So there's not really much else to do in the demo. I just wanted to show it off because I think this game is actually cool. And it's going to be really great at some point. It's just not there yet. But if you want to wishlist it, I'm pretty sure that helps out the devs. So be sure to check it out. Let's look and see what that SMG has. No crit chance. Yeah, that's OK. That's probably why the crit stuff wasn't working, huh? Anyways. Uh, sorry for the scuffed video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nonetheless, I uh, will see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Jeff out. Bye.